unfortunately, I did not go to the store anytime soon. Um, so I did make an ASMR news article magazine. So um, I'm going to be putting this stuff on the magazine. Um, and I'm trying to be really quiet because people are sleeping. Um, I was trying to make this video earlier today, but I didn't have enough time. So I had to wait for my other videos to upload before I could start again. So I just wanted to let you know that um, I hope you guys really like this video. Um, I really had to get creative with this and think outside of the box. Um, I was going to do a newspaper, but I have not been to the store. And when I went to my dad's house to borrow his newspaper, he had never looked at it. And since I didn't know when I would be returning to his house, um, he didn't want to give me the newspaper. So, um, I hope this will work. And I hope that you guys will like it. I 
seven months. A one and two year old was found deceased in a residential pool. There is an investigation pending. Due to COVID-19, Walmart stores in the South will be closing down for a, day, a few days for cleaning. Target has sales for kids clothing, $4, and comforter sets for $15. I know it's weird that I put that in there, but everybody loves Target. I think it's a good idea to put down when we have a deal. <laughs> Walmart says that they will be getting rid of unvaccinated employees. So guys, I think it is crazy that people will get rid of an unvaccinated employee because to me, the vaccine should be up to you, not anybody else. I understand that, you know, we don't know what is in um, half the medications that we take, half the vaccines that we get, or that we give our children, or that we don't know what's in, you know, the tattoo needles and stuff like that. I understand that. But I don't want a COVID vaccine. I don't. Um, I have been told twice that I was a COVID patient, but when they done my COVID test, I was never positive for COVID. Never, thank God. Um, every time that they came back and they would always be like, oh yeah, well you have the symptoms for COVID and all this, and we believe that you have COVID. So anybody who's been around you needs to go get tested. Well, every time I would call for my results to come back, they would always turn my stuff was negative. And that I had, um, they come to find out I had bronchitis. I had severe bronchitis. protected me thus far from COVID. I am going to, I want to stick and I'm going to stick with believing that if God wants me to get it, I will get it. If he wants me to die from COVID, then that's what's going to happen. But I'm very thankful that the Lord has kept me safe thus far and I'm going to keep believing in him to keep me safe. But I'm also doing what I feel like I should be doing. I'm wearing a mask. I'm hand sanitizing my hands. I have wipes inside of my car and both of my vehicles. And I sanitize and disinfect my house. So, I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to. But sometimes you can't help if you get it. And I just hope and pray that everyone who gets it, you know, comes out just fine. My dad got it and I was with him the entire time um, until he went into the hospital. Um, and then when he came home, he still had like six or seven days um, to where he had to be in quarantine. And I was up there every single day taking care of him and getting everything that he needed. And thank God I did not get it. So just because you're around someone that has COVID does not necessarily mean that you will get it but I put all my faith in the Lord I really do um, and I'm not trying to preach to anyone I'm not trying to put my religious beliefs or anything on you I'm just saying that's my thoughts and that's my opinions um, so yeah back to the news <laughs> in California an unmasked and unvaccinated elementary school teacher infects four parents and 22 students with COVID-19. A pregnant, unvaccinated nurse and unborn baby girl died from COVID-19. As of 8.30, 2021, today, at 10.16 a.m., it is 42,158 confirmed cases of COVID-19 and over 280 deaths in the USA. Globally, it's 444,667 confirmed cases of COVID and over 6,905 deaths globally. Um, COVID vaccines rise across the U.S., but hospitalizations for COVID case numbers also rise. Her 
over your hand, saving her five-year-old son's life. Now, I actually seen that on the news this morning. Well, this afternoon, I'm sorry. Prep claims we are nine days away from a government shutdown. Hurricane Ida shuts down oil and gas production. Gas could go up to 10. Gas could go up to 10 cents, says analysis. China cuts online gaming to one hour for people under the age of 18. Evictions to hit up to 750,000 households. Hurricane Ida rips off part of a roof at the sea hospital. Hurricane Ida was at a category four. Now it's down to a category two. I also heard them call it a tropical storm earlier, so I don't know. Um, Ed Esner, he was a TV legend. He won seven Emmys, starring on Dead to Me, Elf, Gus, the Animal, Home Alone, The Holiday Heist, Let Go. And faith, hope, and love. He died at the age of 91 yesterday, which was Sunday. Tesla on autopilot crashes into parked car in Orlando. A 15 year old boy vanished from school in 2016, has lived off of the grid and traveling. Now he has returned home to his parents with a girlfriend. Look it up if 
if you have a news break, you can look it up. Um, and last but not least, Dallas College offering Dallas College offering five hundred dollars to vaccinated employees and two hundred dollars to students to get the vaccine. If they are already vaccinated, all they have to do is show proof, and then they will get the money. But of course, it does have a deadline. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of not only yourself, but each other. You never know what someone is going through and or when that could be you. Love always, Butterfly Michelle. Thank you so much.